Hey everybody, hi, I'm Christy Norton. I am a Yellow Stats presenter with Unique. And today I just wanna kinda of show you guys my morning routine, what I do every morning. Before I put on my makeup, which today I, show, I just wanna kinda of show you the difference, just doing half of my face. But before you even do that, you have to cleanse and moisturize because you only have one face and you have to take care of it like it's your baby. So in the shower, I actually use my Pure Purifying Cleanser. I love this stuff has the beads in it so it kind of exfoliates too and I also use my divine daily moisturizer so those are two things I always use in the morning right away and I also um, spray my face with rose water to help tone all right and on this side of my face actually my whole face first of all I have primer on I touch glorious primer you want to let that sit two to five minutes primer is super important because it creates a nice even surface on your face it also helps your foundation last through like sweating in that because our foundation does actually stay on very well with um, sweating. But I use what is known as the Flawless 4. So I use a Touch Glorious Primer, our Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation, I use our Touch Perfect Concealer, and I also use our foundation brush, which this brush is amazing. It feels so soft on the face. All right. So like I said, first of all, I started off with um, my primer. And you only need a pea size, so I've had this for about three months and it's barely even half gone, which I love with our products, a little goes a long way. All right, so first I have that all over my face. And then I put my um, Mineral Touch Foundation, which you always want to make sure you have the dropper empty because it comes with this nifty dropper here. So you want to make sure the dropper is empty and you always shake it because there's minerals in there. And you want to make sure you shake the, you know, minerals and make it even. So, which is nice, you only need about four to five drops for your whole face. So I'm only going to put a couple on here because I already did half of my face. So kind of go around like that. You don't want to put foundation in the middle of it. You want to put it just on the outside. Alright, I'm just going to go finish half my face here. But yeah, this is our No Touch Foundation. It is medium coverage, so I'll use concealer next. But you can mix your concealer right in with the brush if you'd like. But I am fortunate. I do not have many breakouts, but I like it, like you saw, I did, do have the dark bag. So I love that my concealer and foundation together can camouflage that beautifully. But yeah, this brush is very soft on your face. That's what I love about it. One of the things I love about it. Right. Make sure you close the cap on your foundation because we don't want that to fall and go all over the place. Well, and it's glass bottle too, so you don't want to push it on a surface that will break. That would be devastating. Alrighty. Just want to make sure it's even all over your face. Next, I like to put concealer underneath my eyes and I do a little bit on my lid because I do have a little bit discoloration but um you could use the same color as your foundation or a suggested just to highlight underneath your eyes which I have is um it's one to two shades below your normal and I'm more than happy to do color matches for anybody who's interested yeah this is my go-to I love what this stuff can do even if you don't have breakouts but I mean it does definitely help cover breakouts and whatnot too but I mean, even if you have clear skin like me, it makes your face look flawless, even more flawless. So, I like to put a little bit up there. And this is known as a concealer slash powder brush, so you can use this for, you can actually use this for your foundation as well. You can use it for, our, I'll show you, we have a powder foundation too. Um, you could use this, like I said, with a blush. It's really nice, and I like to use this end to help blend my concealer even more. I love this brush, it's super nifty. want to make sure you blend it decently all right and we also have some awesome powder foundation i love it. it comes in this nice compact which is really durable and it comes with a mirror so you can you know check yourself out while you're putting it on then it comes with a little pad and then it's nice hard plastic over that so i know some of you are afraid to drop things i mean this is protects it very nicely 
So for extra coverage, if you would like, you can put them some powder underneath your eyes, even help cover the bags even more, or put all over your face if you'd like. Top cover all those. If you have blemishes, oh, I got myself an eye. Don't do that. Put a little over my nose. See, I love it. I love those four together. That is my go-to. Makes me have camouflage with my mom bags. And if you're a mom like me, you always get those mom bags, you know, because the kiddos are waking you up early. All right, so I also do have some, I want to use some luminizer. We also have awesome luminizers. I just have a powder one, but we have um, luminizers that come in a stick. It's uh, like, um, turns into powder, so it's cream to powder. And we also just have cream luminizers. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of still recovering from getting myself an eyeball there. I'm actually going to use my powder side of my powder concealer brush. And then I like to put it wherever you want to highlight your face. I like to put some underneath my eye. Creates a nice shimmer. I like to put it up here as well. It kind of just makes you shine like a diamond. I'm going to turn my light on and see if it helps. But I kind of see you. I'm shining. Alright. Alright, and that's that. Thanks guys for watching. So that's the flawless for. If you guys can please like and subscribe so you can um, check out more videos I'm going to be doing soon. Alright, thanks everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Thanks.